Merry Christmas and welcome back to this new episode of Incorto d'Arte. My name is Rita and today we're going to talk about something that I really, really love. But before that, if you haven't done it yet, why don't you give us the gift or you like to this video, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button. There can be only one topic for this episode and that is Christmas. Christmas is a festival of multi-faced origins that mix together religious and um, pagan meanings. Nowadays, Christmas has a Christian meaning, celebrating the day in which Jesus Christ was born. And this has also been a very popular subject in visual art, especially among medieval and Renaissance painters such as Giotto and Titian. Throughout time, December has always been a month of festivals and celebrations. In ancient Rome, for example, people used to celebrate Natalis Solus Invicti, to celebrate the god Mitra on the winter solstice on the 25th of December. Or for the ancient Egyptian, the 25th of December was the day in which the goddess Osiris and her son Oro were born, while Babylonians celebrated the birth of god Tammuz on the same day. Christmas as we know it is a period in which to celebrate with families and friends, exchange gifts, and especially for children, to wait for Santa Claus to arrive. We decorate Christmas trees and houses, set up nativity scenes and open advent calendars. Even with its different meaning, our celebration for this period are very similar to those of ancient Romans during Saturnali, in which they celebrated the god of agriculture, Saturn. In the eighth day of celebration, in fact, they used to set up banquets in the streets and exchanging gifts as well. A specific mention can be given to the nativity scene. A representation of the historic moment in time which baby Jesus is in the manger with Mary and Joseph. In some nations, and especially Italy, this figurative scene is included in the Christmas decorations. In the past, the style of the nativity scene will show the costumes and fashion of the time and place it was made. In modern times, however, the style of representation of the nativity scene has been lost. However, in certain places, figures in a more contemporary rather than historic style are still sold as part of the nativity. Christmas has always been an inspiration for many artists in the history of art. Let's have a look at three artists that have been inspired by Christmas or can be related to it. Born in Geneva, John Armleder is an artist who doesn't like to put a label on his art. In fact, he experiments with painting, sculpture, installation and performance. For this artist, it's also very important to merge art and everyday life together. Armleder is very attracted to Christmas, considering it the most powerful of all of the universal icons, but one that has lost all of its original meaning. In 2015, he placed an installation in the windows of the most famous department store in Milan, La Rinascente. The work was titled Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, it's Christmas again. In the artwork, the display windows are filled with colorful and glittery Christmas ornaments and painted pictures. In this way, the artist creates a playful relationship between art and everyday life in which paintings and ornament complement each other. In these artworks, all the stories, quotes and reference on art and life are entangled to create a brand new story that makes the viewer ask themselves what is part of art and what is part of everyday life? Chuck Fisher is an American artist who plays with different materials within his abstract artworks made of paper and colour. Fisher has a particular love for paper and is well known for his pop-up books. Three-dimensional books that come to life thanks to clever mechanisms and movable elements. Some of his most famous books are Christmas in New York, a pop-up book, and Christmas Around the World. In the first book, the artist leads us in the discovery of the most fascinating places in New York during Christmas. 
creating a sort of travel guide on the places and Christmas traditions of New Yorkers. In the second book, instead, Fisher takes us around the world, dedicating each page of the book to different nations and their Christmas traditions. For example, we can see a nativity scene being the main focus of the page dedicated to Italy, or some Christmas crackers, paper objects that, if pulled from the side, pop and reveal a small gift and traditional joke to read out in a page dedicated to the United Kingdom. Let's finish our selection of artists with the land artist Christo. Christo's artworks, of course, are not related to Christmas itself, but they can be somehow linked to it. Christo and his wife, Jean-Claude, are famous for very distinctive artworks. In fact, they have wrapped different monuments, sculptures and buildings around the world. The reason behind these artworks was to temporarily hide something that we are used to see in our everyday environment, creating a sense of mystery and shock. With their artwork, the artists ask us to see the place that we live in in a different way. When the monuments, buildings and sculptures are unveiled again, we're allowed to look at and rediscover them again with new eyes. Christo and Jean-Claude's artworks can then be seen as enormous Christmas gifts ready to be unwrapped to reveal what is inside. We have seen how different artists are inspired by Christmas and its traditions. It is now time for you to be inspired by it and also by the works of Charles Fisher. Are you ready to create your pop-up card? You will need two pieces of A4 paper or light card, markers, scissors, ruler and a pencil, and a glue stick. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half as shown in the video. With a ruler, take some measurements on both the long edges at 2.5 centimeters from the bottom and then at eight centimeters in height and draw two lines. Then draw a line at six centimeters from the folded side of the card. Now cut the lines as shown in the video. Open the paper and fold it the other way around and with a ruler fold the paper as shown. Claudio is using these as base for the gift box. Color the box and decorated it with a pattern. Once you've done it, create and add other images. You can choose the elements that remind you of Christmas, for example. Decide the composition and glue it to the back of the box. It is important that you stick the elements only on the back of the box and never on the rest of the paper. When it is dried, fold the card in half again do not worry if some parts are folding as well. Open it again and stick on the paper all those parts that stay folded. Turn the paper over and stick another piece of paper to be the cover of your card. You can decorate this first. And that is your pop-up card. I hope that you liked this journey into Christmas in art. 
We will see you again in two weeks' time with another episode. Until then, have a very happy Christmas if you celebrate it. Otherwise, enjoy this festive season. Bye!